a video response to uh, kind of miss my misery to me. I <laughs> just says it's, um I think I sort of get what the mystics after now. I guess I didn't really understand what is he wanted. And what he wants apparently is um an explanation of um the mechanics, the physics of consciousness. He wants a, a demonstration of consciousness in action. It's a, it's a machine, as a, as a, as a squeaky device of some kind. So now we're sort of back to the old conversation. We should have a conversation about computer modeling of, you know, some elements of um, consciousness. And um, I think there's certain useful to that, certain parallels in terms of understanding what's happening in our brains. And so I would. If posed with the question, could you make a computer sentient? Could you make it actually go, ow, that hurt? Um, not just say it, because obviously a movie can say it, right? I mean, these characters in this movie are, are, are having a sensation thing moment, but they're just, just a movie. It's just demonstrating it. It's mimicking sensation, but it's not doing sensation. And so mimicking consciousness wouldn't be what we're after. What we'd be after is actually having it, actually feeling. So we'd have to make a, somehow make this hardware of a computer to be capable of manifesting consciousness. The ability to go, ouch, to have a sensation. And I would argue that it just doesn't have, it's not in the hardware. It's not just a matter of programs. It's just not a matter of bits and bytes interacting. We can make these computers do a synthetic mimic of a human being. We could have, we could create a computer, I and no doubt about it, in my opinion, that will be cybernetically identical, indistinguishable from a human being in terms of it could have every articulation, every nuance of humanness, but it wouldn't be conscious. So it could mimic it but it isn't doing it the same way our brain is doing it. Because our brain, this was made by us to do a certain thing as, with a certain efficiency, where this was made by 4 billion years of evolution, or 3.5, of biological organisms um, being developed. So his question is a physics question, a biology question, that you have to go back you know, 500 million years to find the answer to, somewhere around there, in terms of what's the minimum structure that creates the conscious moment, the first ouch. There was an organism that said ouch for the first time, said it, I mean mentally. Oh, negative feeling. Ooh, ah, eh. You know, that happened for the first time somewhere in our history. Um, you know, just like human beings said for the first time, wildebeest or whatever, you know, got it, elephant or something, you know, realized it was a thing, and named it a thing, identified it as a thing. Uh, all right. I mean, which is all related. I mean, this caveman movie is just a joke movie, but it has a lot of this kind of idea of the, of the development of recognition of, a, of an environment and... and you know, it's a joke way of doing it, but I'm just saying we went through this process of of becoming, uh, of understanding, and and the process we were involved in before that was this conscious process where we were being completely manipulated by the feelings our brain generated and reacting to those. So we were always solving a feeling problem. We weren't solving intellectual problems, math problems, objective problems. We were solving very subjective problems. And that's the biggest difference between a modern human and a human uh, 100,000 years ago, is the fact that we can solve bigger picture problems, game problems, where the old human was just solving personal problems, subjective feeling problems. So again, um, I, don't, I guess the bottom line is, look, I don't have your answer. All right, and if you're gonna hang all of philosophy on coming up with this answer to this question, like what's the minimum physics, what's the minimum toolkit? I just think it's kind of bogus. It's like me having to explain why um, a computer that doesn't have Wi-Fi can't do Wi-Fi. I mean, of course it can't do it because it doesn't have 
Wi-Fi. It doesn't have the, the hardware. So until the computer has the hardware to do Wi-Fi, yeah, it's not going to do Wi-Fi. It's going it to maybe, maybe it can make it do something else, but it ain't going to do Wi-Fi. It ain't going to do, without the, the, without the right board in it, it ain't going to do Bluetooth. It ain't going to do this stuff unless it's got the hardware that makes it possible for it to do it. And we have biological hardware, which is just an arrangement of matter that in some way creates what we call a sensation and what we call consciousness. I think the two are intimately tied together. I don't think you have a sensation without consciousness, and I don't think you have anything called consciousness without sensation. So I don't think you can have either one without each other. They are the same thing. Consciousness is created by sensation. And I don't mean sensation like I feel something rough. I mean sensation in the qualitative sense of this is an unpleasant feeling and this is a pleasant feeling. Um, but anyway, that and so it's a hardware question when you come down to it. Yeah, maybe we can find it in a in a insect's brain. Maybe we can find it in a lizard's brain. Whatever we have to go down to to find it. But we can find consciousness there, in the sense that we can find something who is who is reacting to a brain creating uh, feelings, and and it's trying to fix the feelings the brain is creating. So it's feeling hunger, or it's feeling thirst, or it's feeling an unsettled an un, uh, a problem, and it's it's fixing the problem with behavior. And so it's fixing an internal problem created by a brain reflexively reacting. And it's all reflexes. And what physics it's magnifying, what physics it's... I mean, look, there's some people who theorize, very important physicists do this. And so if you're going you're gonna, to, you know, rag on me, then rag on all thinking humans because they think some weird shit now and then. Well, I mean, I'm not making. I'm just saying it's rather pretentious to get this argument that we, you know, where you you talk as if I have to have an answer that's complete, um, and if I don't have it, all thought has to stop. So, are we going to do that about the universe? There's some theorize that uh, you know somehow on the event horizon of black holes, uh, light is well, whatever photons, everything's being deflected in some way, and it's creating a hologram that is the rest of the universe. <laughs> and so you could say we're the we're we're an illusion of a hologram inside of a hologram. So now it gets even more obtuse in terms of where you get the the mechanics. Um, you know, because now we're we're we're, we're even a, we're, we're even less dimensional than the thing that's actually creating us. Um, but the point is, is that we know we have the complexity. We know the brain is incredibly complex. So we know that it can be creating something, not a black hole for, per se, but we know, we, you know, we've been over this already once before, so let's do it again. But if, you know, I put this camera, hook it up to a TV screen and show it into the screen, it will infinitely regress. It will attempt to chase itself through time and space. And uh, we all hear it in, in audio equipment when you have feedback, and the feedback creates a horrible screech. And so there is a mechanism for this infinite feedback loop that can create problems in physics. It creates, it creates phenomenon in the physical world that we can measure. We can see these oscillations that go out of control. Uh, we can see things that do this phenomenology, this, 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 this weird physics, you could call it. And it's only weird because we can't understand every bit of the dynamic. But the, the, the point I'm going to make is, is that those things exist. And, and th we see it even in this more, this, this hardware that we can analyze and understand. The brain's hardware is even infinitely more small. It's another whole layer of millions of degrees more small. And so certainly an infinite regression taking place on the atomic level um, might be even more dynamic. It might be even, might be able to access, um, you know, levels of bizarreness um, from our perspective, um, you know, that we can't fully even appreciate. Um, but again, I'll say, yes, it's all physics, it's all deterministic, we know all that crap, 
Um, and there is probably a minimum amount of it I could put together in a little ball and say this little ball is conscious. Feed it blood and, and electricity and um, it, it'll be a conscious brain. It'll manifest consciousness. It'll be, it'll be in a state. It'll be either comfortable or uncomfortable depending on what chemistry is floating through it and what electricity is firing inside of it. And it will be in a state of being. Um, that will manifest um, a complex arrangement of associations. I, like I said, you know, again, you know, I can, well, I don't have, like I said, I don't have the answer. What I know the answer isn't is that it doesn't mean anything. I know, I certainly know that that's that not in the ball realm of reasonable is to negate its existence because it's certainly more impressive than pliers, uh, more impressive than desk or shoes or wood or I mean, all this stuff that ain't conscious. The conscious stuff is it's an impressive phenomenon. And, um, but yeah, it could be made up of different pieces of stuff. I mean, it could be a feeling is a, a vibration, and it's, it's vibrations on top of vibrations, inside of vibrations. It could have many frequencies to it. So, you know, it could be made out of primary colors like red, green, and blue. You know, it could have these three elements, and it's just how those three elements are mixed. If they're mixed this way, it's called guilt. If it's mixed this way, it's, uh, you know, a, 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 a pain. If it's mixed this way, it's uh, you know nausea. If it's mixed this way, it's thirst or hunger or desire or some other thing. And it's just all on how how much of the green or the blue or what frequency it vibrates at or some other phenomenon will decide what we exactly feel. But the exact feeling is made out of these components, these constituents that are thrown into a void of some kind. The physics, the universe is doing it. But it's a mechanical thing. It's a device, and when you squeeze it, it quacks. And the quack we're saying is a feeling. It makes a feeling. It makes one. And yes, the feeling isn't audible. You can't see it. You can't do any of these other things to sense it. But it, when you have a sensor, when you have Wi-Fi, you can hear. It. You can pick up the signal, man. It's there. You got it. It's. It, but it's hardware. Um, so, if that, like I said, if you want an explicit explanation, well, I don't think I got that in my pocket for a good, you know, few thousand years. Um, but I think it will be the diagram someday. There'll be a diagram, <clears throat> you know, an Einstein chalkboard kind of diagram, pointing out this, 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 and this, vibration, frequency, blah, 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 some kind of bibble babble, and it will tie it together and say this is where something goes. Ouch! When you put this shit all together ouch pops out um, or ooh that's good but you're not going to make a computer you're not going to be able to buy an app to stick into your computer to make it do it not a program you're going to need to put a piece of hardware in there an oucher okay because it's hardware it's biology that's doing this it's an arrangement in the brain of physical chemical electrical component and when it's doing a certain thing, it glows. It does something. It, it energizes um, and manifests this thing. Ow. This thing sensation. And, but I don't think it's just software going, I'm software. I'm telling you that you're in big trouble, and I'm going to tell you in some kind of weird code way. So this is the big trouble signal. Okay, so now you understand big trouble, have a nervous feeling. I'm going to create nervous feeling in you by pressing four buttons. I, I just don't see that. That's, it's not software communicating with software. There's a piece of hardware. There's, there's an arrangement of brain organs that creates consciousness. You just can't do it in anything by programming alone. You have to make the piece of hardware. You have to make the, the magnifying lens. You have to make the device. Um, so, yeah, that's probably enough. You have to make the card. <laughs> yeah. Um, the peripheral. It's, yeah, it's hardware. And so, anyway, and so we know that some of these hardware questions, it's going to be a little while before we can answer them. But if that's what you're going to hang, all of rational perspective about what our life is on. I think it's nonsense. I think it's just 
we know for 500 million years organisms have been forced into into, into behavior through this mechanism of uh, of delight and suffering of the whip and the carrot created inside of a brain the powerful mechanism I, to my personal experience I'm saying I wouldn't wish it on a dog or whatever you want to say I mean I wouldn't this is dangerous shit to mess with incredibly dangerous um, and yeah it, ha it it these cards get hot these cards are radioactive these cards are you know they're dangerous this is a dangerous kind of hardware. But whatever, that's a side issue. What's that side issue? It's the philosophical argument. And it's one based on, let's just accept its existence. And if you're not going to accept its existence, then in my opinion, that's as bad as um, obliging somebody to explain the Big Bang. I don't have to explain all that crap to explain how we got here. And that we can explain. We can understand natural selection and I think we can even understand that even though we don't know every detail of the nuance of the physics that this biological machine thinking device is not the same as this one and the difference is a hardware difference and if you mimic this with that that's all you'll do. You'll have a mimic. You're not going to have the real deal. Okay, enough. Till next time.